Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, episode 2. Um, we're still in, well, Fink's labs, every uh, facility of Fink's lab. And I want to check out a few rooms that we kind of skipped right now. So I think for that we need to head back up. Is there anything up here actually? Ooh. A man that has been executed. A lot of red paint painting tyrant at the base of uh, Fink's own statue. I think he has a few of those actually. So we came from over here I think originally. So we haven't yet seen the surgical suite for making handyman. I think there might be a few more enemies here so I'm gonna have to be careful about walking around. Um, but maybe, no, for now there's nothing to be seen over here. But that might change of course because they usually spawn in enemies once that auto-saving happens, so... Yeah, that's more like it. No enemies yet, but they might just spawn in now. Okay, so there's a mold in that other room. And there's a man in there, actually. Okay, so there's two... Three enemies down there. But I think I'm gonna try and loop around first. Oh, it's a coded door. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. So there's one of those women with the nice ass. And then two armored ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Ooh, maybe even three. So, how are we gonna do this? There's air hooks up there but I think that actually makes a noise that one doesn't seem armored so they're fine they're kicking a lot of stuff patient ward can't stop me this time <laughs> you can't stop me this time okay so I think I might be able to I heard you. oh god Two arms, brothers! I'm gonna try and move up again. So she's entering the room. Ooh, there's actually a handyman in there. I completely missed that. Where did she go? Oh, she's coming through the door. Better look elsewhere. Done looking. It's a waste of my valuable time. <laughs> now the question is, I know there's supposed to be a way. Is that one hit as well? Yeah. Listen okay. to that racket. Damn air grabber must be busted. Oh god. What's going on? Gonna hunt you. Ah! Oh god, that was. That was, I think that's part of a trophy as well, killing some, well, knocking someone out after dropping down. Uh, but that kind of worked out. So there's one more in the other room. Who did this? enough of that business. I'm done. I can smell ya. You're a fear to me. To arms! Oh god, I missed. Oh god, why does she need two 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 shots? Um I kinda missed there with my tranquilizer gun. Did I actually shoot that in the wall somewhere then? Hmm. I'm not gonna get that back, am I? So you can shoot armored guys with a tranquilizer rifle uh gun. Rifle is from DSX, tranquilizer rifle. Look pick. Oh god, what did they Did they? Oh, yeah, of course, they need to amputate pretty much. Oh, you can see that. Ooh. They just strip him of everything and then just put him in. Ooh. That is horrible. 
What else is there? There's... This looks like just a frame, because I can't see much. But the heart is in there. And then we have... Names. Henry Ward. Anything interesting? Don't see anything... Obvious. Nah, don't see anything obvious. Might miss something there, but... Don't see anything obvious. Let's take... Ooh, there's even a... A basement area. There must be something in here, right? So let's go into the patient ward. Still be careful. Okay, there's somebody. Ooh, flashlight man. Swapping places. Nope. That was just in time. Where is that coming from? He'll squeal. He'll squeal. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, okay, that that doesn't work. That does work. Always keep forgetting, can't melee armored people. That is completely undoable for me. Obviously, because Elizabeth isn't that strong to just knock out a completely armored man. I can get into the vent here. So that might be something. Let's explore a bit further first, because I think I took out most of them. I need to use a health kit there. Ooh, gold. Well, this isn't creepy at all. There's at least two. Don't know how this works, but that works. Um, that did not sound right. How do you drop silently, I wonder? The problem is I can't see anything while I'm hanging from this thing. Aha! So if I if I duck the moment I dismount, I'm actually doing that silently. Someone else can find so if I do this, I heard you. Oh God! Long live Daisy! Is that other one coming? No. Her? How do you know it's a her? Oh, come on. Can I attach? I want to attach again because I want to have those three kills with the hook. Gonna hunt you down. Chasing my own shit. And that doesn't happen. Okay. Okay. We're fine again. I think we're fine. Yeah, so let's take a look around. So this is clearly where they construct those mechanical parts of a handyman and the other side of this uh, sewer thingy. What else is in here? Hmm, tranquilizer ammo. Can always use that. I still hear another Vox. So we're back in the operating wing. We didn't check out the other side here. Oh, yeah, so this is the same side. So there is at least one more dude walking around. I'm actually swapping possession for... Iron Sight? No, Old Man Winter. So I can make some traps if I need to. Oh, they're even making the parts for the Boys of Silence here. I'm gonna see how they make those as well. Because that one Vox Populi with the uh, flashlight kind of makes me think of that. Okay, seems like there's a little lockpick in there. But that's pretty much it, because that just loops around again. There's not much in these areas, just enemies. Um, what the hell? So those are those heart sacks. Or full-on tranquilizer ammo. 
And this just loops back around, so... Oh god. Oh, hi. They put a dead man in the refrigerator over here and then a few of those hearts. No. Damn, I would have expected some kind of audio diary talking about that, but... Oh, I can do this. Come on. I'm gonna land right next to him there. Dead drop. There we go. That's two out of three. Now we need to do that one more time to get the trophy. Hopefully. So this. I did this. Yeah. Boys of Silence. And that's pretty much it then. That's probably also the only one that was still alive. The only thing I haven't checked now is that vent. So I might do that. God damn it. They do keep respawning, don't they? Yeah, that guy was definitely not there. I can't whack him over the head either, so... Just gonna go into the vent up here. There we go, end the vent. As we still have that mold, so if this loops... I was gonna say, if this loops left, I can get there, but... It's going the other way. Maybe it goes all the way around. Ah, there we go. Now we're going in the right direction. Over here, and then... Where the hell are we now? That's the quarantine zone, probably. That's a way into the quarantine zone. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna keep it at that. Okay, it's loading. Just gonna go back. Because I do want to get... What would be the code to that door? I need to be able to open up that door. I'm quickly going to check my um, audio diaries, but I don't think I have anything for that. No. I don't have any of those codes yet, so I'm going to have to go back and see if we can't find that later on. I'm going to have to remember that. There's a door here that I can still open up and we can get a mod from it. I'm going to suppose there's no more enemies over here. I'm hoping they didn't respawn them over here either. Nope. God damn it. There we go. And I was silent again for some reason. There we go. That's two of them. There's at least one more over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Woo. Come out, Peggy. Come on, the dash. Who done this? Someone about? So apparently they can't see me if I'm up here. You see where she went? Well, they're not around anymore, are they? What's going on? Kill your oppressor! All pigs die. Oh God. I'm just gonna activate iron size here. I did get hit, so that iron sight stingy doesn't last long. Um, seems like the more obvious choice while I'm in combat, though. That is annoying that they keep respawning the enemies. I have a few supplies around here that I can uh, fill everything up with, but it is annoying. Just gonna. I have checked out every single one of these areas, although there's still one room I can't enter um because there's one over here i think there's a room behind glass with another yeah this one this is locked but there's stuff in there and there's a vent over there if i look at it, it doesn't really point me in the direction where the entrance would be um because of course it should be around here somewhere but Give me a sec. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to uh, find out where we need to enter that place. Oh, wait. There's a vent over here at the start of uh, the handyman surgical suite. So maybe. Yeah, it is going down. And where is this? It keeps going down. So this is good. This is good. Yeah, there we go. So this is where that one scientist was holding up. We're here. Do we need to kill this guy? I don't think we need to kill this guy. 
Um, so a lot of uh, atom slugs again. As you could see, the map out there was uh, pointing out locations for them to find more slugs. Because they could move around, of course. Columbia can move around and uh, Rapture can not. I can try to unlock this, but is that is that everything there is? That can't be. Just a single lockpick. That's ridiculous. Tranquilizer ammo, but still not what I'm looking for. No audio diary or anything? Well, let's unlock this. Um, holy shibbles. Ooh, there we go. I think that's my fifth one as well. So that should give me the trophy making some noise. There we go. So this is... There he goes. Okay. Did that give me anything? No? That is weird that that doesn't do anything. But hey, that does set me free to start looking around for something else uh, for the next area. Um, so there's... Why is he standing over here? I know there's another one. There's another one inside of the handyman surgical suites. Locked behind that uh, numerical lock. But I don't know how we should be able to save that guy. Because he's just standing there now. Um, and I've been everywhere else, right? So I've been... So this just loops around, yeah, inside of the room with the slugs. Then the next one is the handyman suites, and then... Hmm. Haven't been up here, I think. Oh no. No, there's another area here. I completely whiffed on that one. So there's an upper area as well. Because we came in through the middle. Just gonna use this for a second. That's cigarettes. Nothing here, nothing here. Okay. Man, th these areas are really, really empty. Wait, we have been here. We have been here, because I've I've read this. I've read this. Let's take the medical kit, though. And then, what? What? where does this door lead, then? Because this is not the way we originally... Oh, you could, of course, with the... Yeah, with the vending machine, never mind. Just gonna buy a few more lockpicks. Because we can always use that. And then let's just... Yeah, let's just go down, I assume, because... There's nothing else up here. Let's go to the quarantine area. Let's remember that we still need to find this, the key code for, this, for the door in the surgical suites. But now, wasted enough time, let's go into the quarantine zone. There's no audio diary over there, a voxophone. So that's something. There's a turret right in front of me, so let's use possession since I can take those indefinitely now. That is my turret. So that's, yeah, this is the area we could get uh, into from the surgical wing as well. Oh, gold. Does this not open any further, okay? So there's more Eve down there. How much is that? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. How do I enter that room? How do I enter this room? It seems like it's... It's behind that quarantine zone. Oh, maybe we can lift the quarantine zone. That might be an option. I'm hoping for it anyway, that I can go back from here. The Vox are all dead here, which might be because of the dirt, I suppose. Oh, don't leave. I don't want to leave. There's more hand cannon ammo, rations. And then I can go up there. And then up here. Oh. Well, that is cool. Huh. Seems like Fink and Su Chong were sharing their research. Like the Lutessas. Cross reality collaboration. So here's the confirmation. I uh, started the theory in Bishop Infinite. 
and we're almost at the point where Fink was killed, that Songbird is based off a big daddy. And this kind of confirms it. Yeah. Look at that. What is... Driving suit? Normal human driving suit? Mechanical man. Yeah, so... He was looking for a way that it, that that how big that is would work with a normal man inside since his suits are so much bigger. That's the subject inventory. This is a uh, shiny, so let's activate that. Big Daddy. It all makes a kind of sense. The little sisters and the big daddies. Songbird and me. Constants and variables. Indeed. Constants and variables. Is this going to show us much more? No, it's just looping around the same thing. Don't know why that was highlighted then, just for the dialogue, I suppose. So there's more quarantine zone uh, doors here, so I'm going to assume that I can lift it somehow. Because there's more behind that door as well, so let's go in here. Lots 341 and 360. Looks like animal cages. Why the hell does Fink need animal cages? Did he put an animal inside of Songbird? I thought it was a man. Is Songbird a gorilla? A flying gorilla? Would make a bit more sense because it doesn't seem as intelligent as a big daddy. It does seem more obedient than a big daddy. More Eve over here. This is starting to creep me out a bit. Tranquilizer is full. Are we going to get more Vox Populi in here? Doesn't look like it now. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I hit the nail on the head there. It's a... It's a gorilla. Oh, why am I pulling the lever? Yeah. Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Yeah, so... That confirms it. Songbird is a gorilla. It looks like this gorilla is dead. Um, so that's really, really sad. Um, or gorilla. Okay, jars with weird fluid. Don't want to mess with that. Come on, give me some background story. Where's the voxophones? Give me a voxophone. Now! No? God damn it. Come on. What the hell? Now, the, now there's dogs. Why is there a dog here? That's a big dog. What the fuck? What did I just activate? Is that... Oh wait. So I found gas ammo in here. So that might be for testing... Gas on animals. That's that, that's a horrible thing I just did. So that's locked. Looks like a quite a bit air, a bit area, a big area. Jesus, I can't talk anymore. Oh, saw something shiny. Looks a phone. No medical kit. Give me a bit of information. Examine paper. What's that? It's a skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and... Songbirds to little girls? Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. But it might work on big daddies and little sisters, probably. Because I think we're not yet at the point in Rapture where big daddies are following little sisters. I think... Holy shit. Um... These poor things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. 
So we tried it with dogs first, and then the gorilla became the perfect example. What is... Oh, there's more dogs on the floor. Oh, shit. Um, why are they floating in green liquid? Is that to keep, keep the smell away, or... This is horrible. This is horrible. This is really horrible. Okay, um... There doesn't seem to be any kind of explanation around here, other than what we're, uh... Trying to find out. Imprinting failed. Imprinting failed. I can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. Wait, it could of course be that we're in... An alternate reality where Songbird never came to be. And how was Elizabeth? Maybe... Oh. Oh. Never mind the gorilla idea. I think Songbird is just a robot. Yeah. Songbird is just a robot. Why was it sad that it died then? It was just a robot. It must be a prototype or something. Uh, human. Does it matter? It, it's clearly not human. It's being shown images of stuff. I don't know, that's weird. That's not something I would be imprinting on a robot. This is creepy. Really, really creepy. It's making the songbird noises, obviously. And there's one single coin on the floor there. Um, This is really weird. So there's a vent up there. Examine paper. I tried hypnotherapy. On the songbird. How'd that go? About as well as you'd expect. Yeah, it looked like, like, it looked like there were a lot of dead soldiers in the corner there. Right next to songbird. It's playing music as well, because this is a printout from, or are they brainwaves of some sort? Can't really see what's in there, but it's weird nonetheless. Let's get into the vent. In the vent. Here we go. Where is this going to lead us? Because I feel like this level is just, well, set up for what's, oh uh, yeah, yeah. They did this a few times already, where we just end up in a room with one shiny thing. It's gonna explain everything to us, so uh, here we go. Booker. The little girl in the film. It's me. My god. Oh, I, rem I remember. He, he was... He had crashed into the tower. I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking... Thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but... But he just... Lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. So... Songbird and Elizabeth's bond was natural. Still doesn't explain us what's inside of Songbird. Is it still the gorilla? Gorilla seems like the more obvious choice. Subject's personal effects. Wait. So... Wait, wait, wait. How is this... How do we know... Do we need to know from these items? This is weird. Because it seems like a shrine for Elizabeth, right? So the bow, the flute, the music, 
pictures of Songbird and a doll, and of course then the Eiffel Tower. But Su Chung said he didn't want hair from Elizabeth. How does this... Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. Yeah, that doesn't, doesn't make sense. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong must take an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. So yeah, he's, tr he's trying to find a way to make the big daddies and the little sisters bond. Because that's we're not yet at that point in Rapture where that is happening. We also know how they eventually get that bond, the same way that Songbird Elizabeth. was Time connected to, to Elizabeth. I know. Because the big dad, because during one of his experiments, Su Chong hits a little sister in the face, and that's when a big daddy reacts to the damage that has been done. So, is that something we're gonna see live now? That would be interesting. Let's pull the lever. That must lift the... okay. That was a Vox Populi that was yawning. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers! Spread out! Wait, wait, wait. So there's a few of them... over there. I'm just gonna try... to slowly do this. So those two down there, I can knock out with a gas. Oh, I even hit her up there. Holy shit, that was awesome. Okay, that just leaves nobody. That was easy. So now we're at the sides. Was there something I could access through the sides? I think there was. There was a foxophone at the other side of the window when we first came in. Okay, so that's one I can't hit, so I'm just gonna do that. You gonna answer for this, girl? And that's another heavy one, so might as well use another uh, trank dart on him. Yeah, you can't. I can hide forever if I want to. Oh Jesus! I do need to be careful with the gloss as well. There's a hole in the floor here as well. Oh, I'm so scared I'm gonna miss something now. Just gonna take a look around. Because I think I cleared out pretty much everything. But I know we haven't checked up the upper level yet, so if I can... That's all glass. I don't think there are any more enemies around here, so... Should be fine just walking across the glass. So that's the cages. So we kind of have been here. Yeah, and that's the projection. Um, how is this going to work? So that's where we came in from over there. Oh, come on. Are there, is there not going to be anything here? That's so sad. Maybe down here. Let's go down. Hello? Anyone? Does this just connect the one hole with the other hole? That's... well, that's kind of a useless tunnel. So now, um, I'm completely turned around. So that's the dog. The first dog. That staircase is going up. So, yeah, okay, so we need to go over there. That's where the level is kind of leading us. I think? No wait, we opened it up there so we need to go over there. Never mind. You know what? While we're in here, uh, I think it's high time I take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna... Well, take the hair sample back to Rapture, I suppose, and clear out whatever areas we still haven't cleared out. So thanks again, Nomsi, for watching, and see you guys next time. Goodbye.